This is another video where I'm making one of these truck bed dividers and I made a really rookie mistake and I want to share how I fixed it. In VCarve Pro I'd set up this vector as a boundary to do the cutout of the final piece. I needed to resize it from 11 inches down to 10 inches and I forgot and left my X and Y linked and it resized the overall length from 66 inches down to 60. So I drew out this puzzle piece in VCarve Pro and copied it and then added an enclosure to opposite sides of the pattern, creating two mating pieces. Next, I set up a profile toolpath with one of them having an offset of 0 0.02, just to make sure there was plenty of room for the pieces to slide together easily. At this point, I set up both work pieces on the bed of the CNC with some stop blocks to hold everything square. Having the two pieces end to end like this, I was able to keep them aligned and run the tool paths one after another. After this, I gave it a very healthy slathering of tight bond two and pre-drilled the ends with a couple different sizes of 12 inch aircraft bits to add some six inch drywall screws for some clamping pressure. Then just some rough sanding with the belt sander because this is just gonna be a truck bed divider and it's finished. I'm very new to the CNC world. I've only had my machine for about three months at the time of this video. It's been a very fun learning process. I hope that some of my mistakes and the way I've figured out how to repair them can help others. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Also, I will leave a Dropbox link for this DXF file in the video description below. Thanks for watching.